All right, guys, what's up, what's up? This is Takashi Garami TV, and I'm back at you with another video that will be helpful for some of you that are, um, that were thinking the same as me in this point. So, as you guys know, as I mentioned before, uh, my TLR did get, uh, did take some damage in my recent uh, gameplay escapade out of Feeling of Peach, so... During one of the skirmishes and the exchanges, uh, something, I guess, ricocheted and hit out one of the lens here. So I got I got some lens damage. This has been shot out. So what I did do is uh, I looked up some different uh, suppliers for replacement lenses for TLRs. And there's this company called Airsoft Gateway that makes uh, replacement shatterproof BB lenses that can take um, damage or I would say impact from 0.25 gram BBs at going at 400 FPS at pretty much close impact. Um, a good friend of mine named David Sheet, as you guys may know um, him, you guys know who he is. He did recommend that I should definitely probably get this to a uh, switched out to a shatterproof TLR lens. However, I didn't do it. And then I went and I played and now it's pretty much is broken, but Without further ado, I was able to source a lens from them. This is their True Blue lens from Airsoft Gateway. So we're going to clear out this damaged one and install this new one. In, and the installation should be pretty easy. So here we go. We're going to get this out. Uh, this is the TLR HL. I got the bulb here and the frame. And this is the damaged lens here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get clear this out get all this glass out um yeah there's a whole bunch of it here as you can tell this is pretty much this is done this is all all glass guys yeah get this all out and basically the whole idea is you want to sort of get this into the groove. So the replacement lens has to go into the groove, which is this this one that's sitting in front of me right now, the clear one. From what I understand, this does happen quite often, um, especially for people who have TLRs if you play Airsoft. Not so much really often, but it's just something that pretty much can happen because the surface area on the light is pretty wide. So... It's just one of those unavoidable things. As you guys can tell from some of the gameplay already, it was pretty much extreme. And there was a whole lot going on at one time. And I didn't realize that the lens was damaged until I got home. And I checked it. And while I was doing uh, my weapons check, and my maintenance, I noticed the, uh, the shattered glass. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Get that out of the, uh, the rubber here. And then we're going to put the, the, the new lens in the replacement rubber. So it's all the broken glass in the workstation. So here in the package, basically you get a, a color lens. If you choose a color lens, or I guess if you choose a clear lens, this would be clear. But for the colors, they do have a good amount of options as well. Their price is also pretty reasonable. So because I'm here in Japan, I had to pay a, I think a $25 shipping fee for first class mail or something. But the stock price on getting the lens kit is I think 20 or $25, I believe 25, I could be wrong, somewhere around that ballpark. But if you're in the United States, um, that's gonna be a lot cheaper and easier for you to do. So there's no worries on that. So. Just gonna get this lens in here in the, the plastic. Just make sure we get rid of all that broken glass. Got a little, some little pieces still stuck in there. Okay. And it looks like this is pretty, pretty clear right now. So I'm gonna put the replacement lens in it. There we go. It should be all right. 
It's a couple of pieces still left in here. It's very annoying. It's one of the difficult things of <laughs> dealing with broken glass. I have a couple of of lights that have been damaged. And it's fun what's funny enough is that the TLR HL does have pretty good durability. If you watch Sage Dynamics videos where he does some drop tests, he did do a drop test with this light. And what's funny about that is that it did hold up, but but a BB will shatter it. That's pretty interesting. Okay. It's as clear as we're gonna get. Um get like some so I'm gonna kind of wipe wipe this off a little bit here. I'll have a cleaning cloth on me that's handy. So yeah, guys, uh, for those of you guys that are TLR users, my recommendation is that if you're buying a brand new TLR and you're going to use your TLR for airsoft, but in general, I mean, even if it's for you know, actual use for a home defense or whatever the case is, I would definitely consider getting some kind of shatterproof lens or lens protector. I was actually going to get an additional lens protector um, on top of this right here. I might still do it, but from what I understand, on these lenses, they have a one-year guarantee. So regardless of what happens, this should hold up pretty well. So that's what they do guarantee. And we're going to take their word for it because they have a lot of good customer reviews. Okay. This looks like it's in place. It looks like it's in place. There we go. Yeah, so from what I understand, this does work really well as a replacement lens. So we're going to try to get this back into the groove here. It should be, should be, should be pretty easy. Don't quote me. It's my first time doing this. Uh, okay. There we go. Got to get this to line up perfectly. It feels a little bit thicker than the one that comes in the box. Or the one that comes with it. There we go. I got it in. We just needed to to keep it seated in the plastic. It's starting to come out the plastic a little bit. Okay. And from what I understand, um, this is probably the most arduous part, I think, of the installation process is getting this lens in and getting it seated properly. Once you can get it seated properly, um, then it should be pretty easy. I don't know if I can get it in this way. I might have to, I don't want to put the whole lens in without using the, the plastic. I don't know if that's ideal. Or if it's possible. Mm. There we go. Oh, it's out the plastic. It's no good. Maybe I might have to take it out the plastic. Oh, there we go. But now that's gonna shake. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna work. Yeah, this this part here is um there we go. Get that back in there. If I can screw this down some more, no. 
perfect. For those of you guys that have probably done this before and you're watching this video, drop a comment. I'm interested to, <laughs> to hear your thoughts on this. I was actually told, I was told by uh, my friend that this was going to happen eventually. And, you know, sometimes we think that we know everything, even though we don't. And I'm thinking in my mind, yeah, I'm going to be okay. It won't be a big deal. Um, I'm not really trying to, you know, really heed the warning too much. And I didn't think too much of it, honestly, going into the situation, but I was playing the game. And then literally as I got home, I realized that as soon as I, I did my, my, my gun check, I'm like, wow, this lens is completely gone. Yeah. Okay, this definitely looks like this is going to be something that might be a little bit difficult to do, and I don't want to damage this plastic. All right, well, let me see here. So this part should be pretty much easy to do, um, getting the the lens onto the, uh, the bulb like this. And the whole idea basically is... Once it's seated, you want to essentially get this guy on like this, right? Which might even be the way to do it, honestly. I think this this might be it, yeah. This literally might be it. So, yeah, this literally might be it, guys. I think this is literally it. I might have been making a mistake the whole time. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, because there's no there's no space here for the um the other part. Well anyway guys, um that's pretty much it for I guess the the TLR lens, which is pretty dope. So for those of you guys that have any comments, um whatever the case is, uh definitely drop your drop your comments in the comment section and let me know what's up. Once again, this is Takashi Grami TV coming at you with some more content. Be on the lookout for all the future gameplays and all of the other feature content that is coming. And I am out. Peace.